Toronto has the greatest housing bubble risk in the world. But what if I told you that was actually back in 2022? And since then, Toronto's housing affordability has actually improved. I'm Mike Luzes. I'm a realtor here in the city of Toronto. If you ever want to book in a call to discuss what exactly this means right now, what we've been seeing on the ground level in Toronto real estate, you can click on that first link in the description down below. Every year, UBS Bank comes out and gives a report on the greatest housing market bubbles in the world. And they use most of the major cities across the globe. Back in 2022, when I started this video journey, I actually broke down this list way back to talk about how Toronto was the greatest bubble in the world. Now the tune has changed a little bit. And one thing we've been seeing, especially as prices continue to remain relatively stable in the city of Toronto, properties around the globe and other areas of the globe are getting more expensive. Let's take a look at what exactly that looks like. This is an article that does talk about Toronto being at the greatest risk back in 2022. And this has a score of 2.24, which will break down what those scores actually mean. Frankfurt and Munich were at that top of the list before Toronto in 2022, where in Toronto, prices have tripled in the last 25 years. It does mention that the city inched to the not so coveted number one spot. Let's take a look at this year's rankings, where Toronto came in at number five, and it was an improved score in 2024. Slower rent and income growth have kept the city in elevated risk territory. They're talking about three main factors that drive housing bubbles, rampant speculation, limited housing, and lowering rates. It's no surprise Toronto just ranked fifth in the world to be at the risk of the housing bubble. And we'll talk about their actual report. Nestled in behind Miami, Tokyo, Zurich, and Los Angeles, Toronto is still described as facing an elevated risk. But globally, the risks of housing bubbles are on the decline for the second year in a row. You can actually go over to UBS's website and see what exactly the real estate bubble index of 2024 looks like. Residential property prices in 25 major cities across the globe show bubble risk in housing markets decline further in 2024. Miami now shows the highest risk for cities in the study, followed by Tokyo. And just breaking through the key findings to this year's report, imbalances have declined in Europe, remain stable in Asia Pacific, and increased in the US. Miami tops the bubble risk ranking this year. Dubai has recorded the highest risk increase since mid-2023. For bursting bubbles where high imbalance accumulated, real estate prices have shed 20% since mid-2021 compared to a correction of 2% on average for all other cities in the study. Correction over, it does mention that real prices in Paris and Hong Kong fell by 10%. Warsaw and Dubai recorded double-digit increases. And for housing shortage, building permits have been declining in most cities amid deteriorating financing conditions. Real rents have accelerated in a majority of cities and increased by more than 5% on average the last two years. The city of Toronto has seen a decline year over year for when it comes to pricing on rents. A few factors that do play to that are the amount of buildings that were delivered, and they've now been rented as as we've gone along here through the years. So if those properties are getting all rented as they're being delivered, it will most likely have an effect on pricing in the future, but we haven't been seeing it right now. And the last section here, market freeze, where buyers could afford 40% less living space than in 2021 before interest rates increased. As a result, fewer properties are being bought, apparent and sharply lower growth of outstanding mortgage volumes and the time is turning where financing costs are becoming more attractive, housing demand is bottoming out and prices should accept accelerate. Economic growth will be crucial in determining the price dynamics. You can download this full report to get the full breakdown, but that's a snapshot of what's actually in the report. There you have it. That's a UBS housing bubble report. And I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below on if you believe that the worst is behind for Toronto real estate. We've been seeing the market definitely pick up here in September. Significant difference from where things were back in July and August. Once we go over those new charts that do come out this week, I am anticipating quite a big change in the top from what we've seen and been feeling it on the ground level, working with buyers and with sellers in this current market. If you ever want to look at a call, click on that first link in the description down below. I'm Michael Lizes. Thanks for watching.